did not think that Manila could look like this. Welcome to Bonifacio Global City, or BGC for short. After exploring a number of other islands of the Philippines, we are back in Manila for our last couple days before we head to our next country. Sad. I know, so sad, but don't <laughs> worry. We are already decided that we're gonna be back here for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, so the last time we left Manila, everybody was telling us that we had one more thing that we had to do, and that is to explore BGC. So we got our day pack packed for the day, and we are ready to explore somewhere new. We're starting here at Venice Grand Canal Mall and I am in shock. I knew that BGC was like a fancy area of Manila, but I actually had no idea it was gonna look like this. They have a straight up mini Venice Canal in the middle of this mall. This is insane. <laughs> Many new friends in the Philippines, yeah. eh? Thank you. We're from Tagum Java in Norway. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So friendly, of course. Always. <laughs> Always. Hundreds of new friends wherever we go. Yeah, that Filipino hospitality is just strong. <laughs> Except for a mall. I also just love that all the signage conforms to a certain sort of vintage style. Like you'll see stores or restaurants like TGI Fridays or Jollibee's and they have to have their signs in a specific way just to make it all sort of conform to a certain style. It's just it's really nice. <laughs> Two seconds later. Spaghetti. Queen. Spaghetti. So good. And we have a we have a friend here on our yeah. phone as well. This is Marlene. Yes, I'm Marlene Pana Braganta from Tantangan, <laughs> South Cotabato. You, you can visit our place, the Lake Cebu. You there can you visit go. our place. Yeah. So many beautiful places yeah. in the Philippines that we have to come back to see. Yes, I Next time. <laughs> Oh, this is so sweet. Now we don't even need to go to Venice. <laughs> Please take me to Venice still. Ah, uh, it's way too expensive. <laughs> I'd rather just pay 20 bucks to come on this boat. <laughs> this is just too funny. I feel like this is just such a random thing to have in a city like Manila. But at the same time, I absolutely love it and people should be proud of this. I think this is so cool. <laughs> I feel like a celebrity. Everyone's waving and taking videos of us, and I just feel like the Queen of England right now. Just getting boated around. Queen of Italy. <laughs> Queen of Italy, yes. <laughs> Queen of Manila. <laughs> Me and Marlene. I want your place nice, right now. <laughs> enjoying a nice romantic time in Italy. Yeah. You guys like look like a couple. Friend. Close friends. Yeah. They're just like close friends. Just like close friends. Yeah. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie. Thank you, gracias. Thank you, Dexter. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. 
That was amazing. Oh, that was hilarious. I don't know if that was worth 500 pesos a person, but it was very entertaining. <laughs> and our gondola driver was hilarious. Was and Marlene. <laughs> and Marlene. Oh, oh we got our photos. So wow. Thank Cute you. Free photos of us. <laughs> I think my eyes are closed on the first one too. Can you see? We look like ghosts a little bit. I love it. It's so good. Can Mems. you see this? Look at that. Good memories. Look at this mammon sir. Just having a great time in the Philippines. We'll never forget, ever. Right here at Burgo Circle Park. It is so beautiful here. And honestly, this is just the perfect day trip in Manila. We're not actually staying in BGC, we're staying in Mandaluyong, but I just love that all we had to do was pack a day pack, take a grab, and then we're just in a totally different part of the city. And it's just, I don't know, it's just so nice to explore somewhere completely different. And for day trips like this, we always pack this trip travel gear day pack. And we love this thing because it packs fully into itself. Now, if you've watched our channel for a while, you know that packing minimally is super important to us. So that's why we love this day pack because not only does it pack really small, but it's also still very lightweight. And we also travel with the tripped tech bag, especially for days like this, where we just have all these, you know, phone cords that we need, a power bank, extra camera batteries, all these things. And it just packs up into this perfect little kit. We honestly just love all of Trip's gear. We use their hanging hygiene bag and their packing cubes as well because they all are just such high quality but also just so well thought out in the design. So whether you're a short or long-term traveler, make sure you check out the links in our description and get yourself some Trip travel gear because you won't regret it. I think one of my favorite parts about this day is that just walking around, it just sort of feels like you're in just sort of like this classic urban metropolis. It has this really cool urban design. I honestly feel as though we're in Vancouver right now. Especially because there's a Tim Hortons. Yeah, there's a, there's a Tim Hortons <laughs> literally right there. Like, I, it feels like Vancouver. We actually could be in Vancouver right now. <laughs> a nice I'm not summer day. <laughs> without me. Sorry. <laughs> what I can't get over is how much better the traffic seems to be in BGC. It just seems so well laid out that traffic actually flows as compared to the rest of Manila where traffic is kind of a nightmare. It just actually makes a lot of sense here. Thank, Thank you so much. Next stop, the Mind Museum. 625 pesos per person. Let's go learn about our brains. The Mine Museum is listed as one of the best things to do in BGC, so we had to check it out. There are tons of different little stations to learn about science, so we learned about earthquakes, space, and even caught a dancing robot show. Yay! Yay! Dancing robot! <laughs> <laughs> well, that museum is definitely geared more towards children uh, <laughs> rather than adults. I would say that if I was a kid in school and that was like a field trip, that would have been like the absolute best day ever. Yeah, it was big <laughs> science world vibes. It was yeah. less about the mind as well than I thought, but it was, yeah, just about science and the world, but definitely more for kids. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Still a fun little activity. Yeah. Our last stop today is to try a typical Filipino food and we've tried a lot of different Filipino meals here in the Philippines and we've even made a full food tour but we could not leave the Philippines without trying Halo Halo. So this is a very traditional dessert here. As you can see it is crazy. It has all these different colors in it. Our server just listed all the different things. There's some ice cream, there's beans, there's some sort of flan, there's shaved ice bunch of other berries and bananas and things in the bottom. Honestly, I can't even remember all the things, so I'll just put it on the screen, but this looks crazy. And everyone said we had to try it, so here we go. What in the world? It's just so many different textures already. Ooh. Wow. Interesting. So far, tastes kind of like Rice Krispies mixed with ice cream. Mm. 
Wow, that is such a mixture of flavors. You taste the beans? No beans yet. I think they might be deeper in there. Unless, are these the beans? These just taste like Rice Krispies. Very interesting. It kind of tastes like a little bit like tres leches, like a very typical Latino dessert, but man, I honestly have never tried anything like this. It's so cold. <laughs> oh, they're like actual pinto beans and some sort of like jello in there. This is so interesting. I don't know how I feel about the beans in there. They're not bad, but they're just not dessert-like to me. Interesting, interesting. Eric, you gotta try this. Yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're meaning with like the, the Rice Krispie taste for sure. You gotta get to the beans. Very random. That's a very random thing to have in a in a dessert. Beans, pinto beans. Oh, this is so good with like the flan and the ice cream mixture. I feel like that's real good. Would recommend. And apparently, hollow hollow means mix mix. So, are we supposed to just mix it in a circle? I don't know. I think it's just a big mixture of yeah, stuff. Yeah, big mixture. Very accurately you done. Then. It's funny. There's like little surprises the whole way down, you know? Every so often, like, oh, what was that? a little berry or a little piece of banana or something. Well, we've had such a fun day today exploring BGC. I'm definitely glad that everyone convinced us we needed to come here because this is unlike anywhere else Absolutely. we've been. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. But sadly, this is gonna be our last video in the Philippines. We are moving on to Vietnam. And I think maybe we have one more video about cost of living? Yeah, we'll have a cost of living in the Philippines, but not actually anything exploring the cities yeah. or islands. Right. So we're sad about that. Thank you for all the love on all of our Philippines videos and we hope you follow along and we'll see you in the next one. That's right, bye.